everybody. One of the things I wanted to do with Vita was Friday Favorites. I, I, I'm, I love alliteration, but we'll see. Uh, no, it's where I play some of my favorite video games. Uh, specifically, th thanks for that, Saints Row statue. I really appreciate what you just had brought, just brought to the table there. Uh, no, Saints Row 3 is one of my favorite games. These are in no particular order. It is not my, my most favoritest game, although we might get to that one. But if I want a driving cars, shooting stuff, dress-up game, as we can see with my giant buff clown cannonist, then Saints Row is my go-to. It is awesome. And specifically Saints Row 3. Now Saints Row 4 got into a lot of... Here's my car. Saints Row 4 got into a lot of uh, superpowers and stuff like that. And it's still really fun, but if I want to drive car shoot stuff game... This is it. GTA 5, GTA 4, also super, super fun. But there's something about the weird wackiness of Saints Row 3 that just gets me. Alright, so let's do a mission. Let's see what this is about. So Saints Row, you play as the Saints, who are a street gang. And, oh, FYI, I turned all the music off on account of copyright ID. Because there's some kick-ass music in this game, but it'll seriously, it's super content ID. Uh, but yeah, you're the Saints, and in Saints Row 2, you commit a whole bunch of crimes, and you run a city, and you eventually, in Saints Row 3, turn into, like, this giant media brand, and now you're in a foreign, like, in a, in a different city, and everyone hates you, and you have to, like, rebuild your empire, etc., etc. Um... It's basically... Is that a dude with a ball cap? Sorry, one second. Here, um... Wow. There we go. Um, yeah, that's a dude with a ball cap. Weird. Anyway. Yeah. The, the, the plot is the sort of loose premise to create relationships between weird characters and to uh, just give you this giant playground to drive around in and do crazy things in and do all these weird activities in. I mean, in Grand Theft Auto, when you don't like somebody, you go by their house and shoot them or, like, beat up their, bash up their car with a crowbar. Uh, in Saints Row, when you don't like somebody, you drive through their neighborhood with a sewage truck and spray shit on everything you can find. Oh yeah, the thing I love about this is also the nitro. It's the multi-tentacled flame. <laughs> but, Saint, and Saints Row 3 is probably, for me, it's the best one in, in the series. Uh, like I said, 4 is really fun, but it's more of a superhero game. And it uses the same sort of engine to give you a, uh, a city you can just obliterate. But here, it's all you know driving cars and assault rifles. and That's sort of more what I'm on board with than a superhero game. I remember playing 4 and being like, every time I get my powers taken away and I have to drive cars, uh, I feel really happy. <laughs> I like it. But, the other, oh, the other thing that makes Saints Row honestly better than GTA is Saints Row has a co-op story mode. Saints Row 2, Saints Row 3, Saints Row 4. I've, I haven't played the first one, but they have a co-op story mode. So I actually went through this game with Rich, who I do the Minecraft videos with on Woodsy Riot, and we had a blast. Because like, it's easy to have a game that, where you do co-op missions, but co-op story mode, so much fun. Where am I going? I know what I'm doing. Uh, we're right at the beginning of the game, and we're trying to acquire some real estate from a uh, rival syndicate. So what we're going to do is go to their party, as Pierce mentioned earlier, uh, if you were paying attention to him, which I advocate that you don't. Um, 
we're going to go to their party, and uh, we're going to acquire some real estate. And it's going to be wonderful. Everything's going to go fine. See? Lovely party. Everyone's chilling out, having some drinks, relaxing. I'm there. I don't have an invitation, but oh wait, I'm I'm, I'm up here. Let's do it. I love the character design in this too. You can redesign your character as much as you want, and you can look as ridiculous as you like. It's like GTA if you were a Batman villain, which I think is how uh, Yahtzee classified it when he reviewed it. All right. Let's jump. Now, I could open my chute. You know, I guess. I, the goal is always to wait as long as you can. Ow. All right, here we go. Now into the real deal. Hello, friends. Excuse me. Oh man, I love this game so much. I haven't played it in a while. It's, it's the downside of anything with co-op story mode is. Oh, hello. What's the code to the freight elevator? Go to hell. I love it. Hi. Play hard to get. Fine. Code's three one three one. Just watch the jack. Yeah. So we're gonna open up the elevator and let my friends in, because apparently I can't do this all on my own. Let's break that guy's neck. Kill this guy who's annoying me. Ooh, ooh. Oh! I had I had an a an acid in. I So we're doing this mission for the first time and no I'm kidding, I'm, I'm not gonna restart. The problem with playing a game that you're that you've played a whole lot and that you assume that you're still good at is you're not good at it anymore. All right, so let's let's be a little Just more circumspect about I'll this. Call you when I get the elevator code. Just give the word, boss. And maybe we'll just dive into the pool. What's the code? To the be like, excuse me, sir. I love it. Hi. Play hard to get. Fine. Code's Look at me. I'm nonchalant as fuck right now. Now, everybody, excuse me, I have to go to the elevator. I have to, I have to go to the ele I have an appointment. I have to go to the elevator. We're just gonna walk through the pool. All right, bullets don't pass through glass. Also, you kill a lot of innocent bystanders in this. Excuse me. I mean, it probably doesn't help that I'm using, like, the pistol. Excuse me, uh, lady? And the crappy pistol at that, but it's my favorite because it's so accurate. Because I'm one of those players. Alright, I think we're done with you. Say goodbye to everyone. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Alright, later. Nothing some explosives can't handle. So let's switch to another gun. What do we got? Oh yeah, we have drone strikes. Uh, I'm all out of them right now. And they don't work indoors, sadly. Alright. Throw a grenade. See? Look at that. It's so... So inaccurate. I mean, I just pulled out a shotgun, but... It's the brakes, right? Feels so good. Excuse me, miss. I need you. Ready, uh, 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 die, please. Please die. Oh, Shandi. Shandi is awesome. She's one of your companions, and 
She's probably my favorite. She she went under went, underwent a big character change in the from, from two to three, and they just sort of rolled with it. Where? Oh, hello. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, the plan is kill everybody. Do, 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 do. Don't mind us. We just shoot everybody in the noggin. Hello. Just out of range. Excuse us. I think we win. Oh, got him! Ha! Excuse me, um, ma'am. Sir, sir, you're being very aggressive, sir. Jesus. I don't remember this taking so long. Uh, friend, you are holding the quest objective. Don't hold the quest objective hostage. We need to kill the quest objective. I mean, except when we don't. Oh dear. <laughs> Where did that helicopter even come from? Alright. I will point out, this is like one of the first missions in the game, and you skydive into a penthouse, shoot everyone inside it, um, I don't remember how to descend in my helicopter. That's unfortunate. Okay, control to descend, shift to ascend. Alright. But yeah, dive into a penthouse, kill everyone, let in your gang, kill everyone again, and then get involved in a helicopter chase. A helicopter chase. Third mission? Fourth mission-ish? Saints Row, what I'm saying is Saints Row is a game that doesn't mess around. It takes its, its fun very seriously in a way that isn't serious at all. Uh, it is not, however, without flaws. Uh, not just in, like, gameplay and, and things like that. I mean, there's always uh, bugs and stuff like that. But it is also a series that is sort of deeply misogynist in a way that makes me uncomfortable. It has that standard sort of pimps and hoes thing where pimps are cool uh, and... Uh, I'm not super cool with, like, sex trafficking, and, you know, I could land my helicopter, that's true. Ha ha ha! Do I? Hi! Let's be friends! Ha <laughs> ha! All I had to do was drop a helicopter on a neighborhood. Oh, I have to kill it. Goodbye. The Saints there we are. Down. New house. Hey, there's nothing to worry about. I saw it's exactly Mr. Kilbane. The Saints are no more. All the villains. It's Kilbane's a really interesting it's villain, too. Uh, he winds up being the main villain. Spoilers for a game that came out years ago. I'd say empty. But he he he's not just a dude in a luchador mask. They they take they take pains to try and make him 
at least in some ways, part of luchador culture. So he used to, he used to be a wrestler. Uh, he takes the mask very seriously. Um, he accepts it as sort of part of his identity. There's a lot of neat stuff going on. And in Saints Row, unlike GTA, you gain levels. Uh, you get respect. So, I mean, I'm a sucker for any leveling system. But respect allows, is what you get by completing missions and committing crimes. So you actually get more powerful the more crimes that you commit. And now I have a crib. I can customize my gang. Did I just use the word crib unironically? I have a home. That's, ugh. This is what this game does to people. And the best part about your house is you have a helipad. And there's a street below it. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Ha! Nailed it. Hashtag nailed it.